I'm going to build a company and we're all going to be buddies and, you know, we're all going to skip across the, well, you know, and cruise, we're, right. And I, I was that, I was that guy. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 387th episode of Potty Talk. Mm-hmm. Hey, question for you. What? Does this sound familiar? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, know, you, you start your day out, you're just kind of going along here, but you know, once you get to the office, the shop or whatever, all of a sudden you're, you're hit with this customer problem or you know, one of your guys needs to talk to you. I wonder <laughs> what that's about. <laughs> you know, um, all, you know, you got, you got to follow up on that, uh, that invoice, mm-hmm. you know, there's a truck, the truck goes down, all this kind of, all this kind of stuff just happens. Bam, all bam, of a sudden it just bam, spins bam. out of control. You get a call from school that you know, your kid's sick, all this kind of, and it's just, it's just spinning out of control. Mm-hmm. You ever feel nope. like most days feel like you're, they're out of control? <laughs> I'm sure no one in our audience thinks <laughs> right. that at all. Maybe it's just us. Well, in this episode, we're going to just be talking to us. I I guess. Yeah, just us. All right. We're going to learn how to take control of your day. Okay. Okay. What Mm -hmm. what you do to take control of your day. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't have employees. Don't have customers and don't (laughs) have kids. Stay in bed. (laughs) Just kidding. Hey, it's good to have you here. (laughs) Hey, before we get started here, Mm -hmm. I do want to ask you to please share this. Mm -hmm. All right. Share this episode. Share Potty Talk. All right. And leave us a review. Um, Review on whatever podcast platform that you're listening to too, whether it be um, audio or YouTube or wherever it might be, um, please give us a review. Let us know if you love us, hate us, indifferent, right, right, right. <laughs> whatever it might be. Um, we'd love to hear from you. All right. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Share the love. <laughs> All right. So how to take control of your day, which is the big issue. You know, we, you know we're, we're plumbing entrepreneurs. Okay. We got life. We got business. You know, all kinds of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. All right. How to, and we want, and it's kind of part of our nature to control things. Mm-hmm. In fact, as we get into things and are out of control, it can even kind of, for those of us who like to be in control, mm-hmm. and even kind of spin us out of control even more yeah. because it's, we're not in control at all. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. And that's just the reality to life and, and, to, and, and to your business. Really, it's kind of, you know, cr- controlled chaos. Okay. <laughs> that's true. All right. Mm-hmm. But how, how can you take control of your day? Mm. All right. Okay. And you can start by... Mm-hmm. Having a morning routine. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. How, how, what, what's your morning routine? You know, yeah. when, when do you get up? Com- comment. Get, yeah. Leave it in the comments. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a, do you just kind of just roll out of bed and. At right, the get, last possible minute. Right. Get cleaned up and then run to the shop. Cleaned or, up. Well, that might even be. Or clean right, right, yeah, right. Maybe just roll out of bed and then put on the same uniform they had on yesterday. Gosh, I hope not. Right. But. Mm-hmm. Right. So what, what's, you know, what's your morning, morning routine? Mm-hmm. You know, it's very, it's very vital. I'll use that word. It's very vital to have a morning routine. Structure. Right. Because re- in reality, that's the only time of the day <laughs> that you can control. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Your, your morning routine. And then on the, on the flip side of that, you know, your evening, evening routine. Right. Your, but, e- your evening routine really can sets, dictate and sets up your morning routine. Right. right? So if you're, if you're staying up all night, scroll holing or, or watching, um, something on TV or what, and you know, till 11, midnight, whatever, then you're probably not going to want to be getting up at five in the morning. Right. right? You're just, you're just not, you're right. going to be exhausted. Right. For, you know, for years, you know, we've, you know, our evening routine set, set us up for our morning routine. Mm-hmm. So I'll share, you know, we would stop, try to stop TV or that kind of stuff by nine. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. even even when the kids kids were young, mm-hmm. okay, try try to stop we, that. At yeah, nine, we just didn't stay up. You know, mm-hmm. and then we were in bed and would get to bed and maybe read, talk. I mean, we just kind of just kind of coming down. Right. But we, we were in bed by nine thirty. Yes. And uh, have been for years. Years and years. Yeah. You know? So that's why it's difficult when we have like our retreats or we're out, you know, with with other couples or whatever, and they're we, stand up past ten. We're like, oh my goodness. We're, we're doing everything right. we can to stay awake. More yeah. coffee, please. Exactly. <laughs> and the reason being because we're up at five. Yes. It's part of that taking control of our day mm-hmm. for years. We've gotten up at five. Yes. Okay. So alarm goes off. Um, mm-hmm. And then if we don't turn on the light about five minutes later, the light comes on. It's on automatic. <laughs> right. Whatever. We do have a, a light that right. um, automatically comes on at a time that we set. It's right. five minutes after the alarm goes off. In the early days, I called it the devil light. You did call it but the that, devil that's, light. But that's kind of a negative way of putting it. No, it's uh, the opportunity light. We call it the opportunity okay, light. Okay, because you get up, it's a brand new day. It's mm-hmm. opportunity ahead mm-hmm. of you. So we're up at five. And then, you know, of course you do your little bathroom routine and, but then we have, you know, quiet time, which mm-hmm. is a part of our routine. You know, we have time in the word every day. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then we, we, we're right into our, you know, our daily GPS. Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, it comes on, I didn't I, I be a little transparent here. Oh, baby. I, I didn't write my GPS this morning. Oh, we have to stop the podcast right <laughs> Yeah, now. I got to go, go do that. <laughs> okay. But the, the, 
Mm-hmm. Well, nine times out of ten, nine mm-hmm. nine point nine times out of ten, you, you're doing these things. You mm-hmm. stick to your routine, right? Okay, and then we go uh, work out, and then we go work out. Mm-hmm. And everybody knows that's that's part of our. It's been part of our life, okay. Mm-hmm. And all this builds. That's the only time in the day that we really can can control. And you know what? It, right. What it does, it creates. Um, it, it, we keep the promise to ourselves, right? right? That's it. It's it's creating that discipline, and it is discipline, guys. And we, we say it all the time. We do not want to get up at 5 a.m. There's not a time where we're like, woohoo, the light, light just came on at 5.05. I right. can't wait to jump out of bed, and I can't wait to go work out. I can't, the, never. It's, it's just it's never happened, right? right? But we've created a discipline because we know what we what we want. We've created a vision for our lives, and we've done this. We've been married almost 30 years, and we've done this for, gosh, good portion, maybe 20, 26, 27 years yeah. of having that discipline because what we want is – Back then, we wanted that when, as we got older, that our bodies were still healthy. That to create that routine when we were younger is way easier to do than when you're older. Trust yes. us, it's hard. It's way harder now. It's way, right. and even though we've worked out forever, right? And intense. We we just don't go kind of lift a few weights here. I mean, look at your arms, right? right. You you work hard. You work out really really hard. So, um, but it, it keeps a promise to ourselves. So if we, if we don't get up and work out, if we stay up too late or whatever, we're breaking our promises to ourselves and then we end up losing confidence in ourselves. That's a great point. That, mm-hmm. that is the key by breaking these promises to ourselves. You know, confidence is built by keeping the promise to ourselves. Yes. Ooh, of course, you know, to mm-hmm. other people, mm-hmm. but the confidence, you know, people, how do I get more confident? Mm-hmm. Keep the promises to yourself. Yes. And these simple ones, mm-hmm. like I, we get up at five, I do this, I do that, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's the side benefit of that. Mm-hmm. But it's the only time that you really can't can control your day. But it does build that confidence. Then going into the, in the part of the day where it seems a lot of control, mm-hmm. you've already controlled. You started your day. Right. You have the confidence that I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. You didn't okay? start out in chaos. You, right. you started out with controlled, with something that, that you planned, Right. So your day didn't start out with chaos, and then you're going into more chaos. You've started out controlled and and hopefully chaosless. Right. <laughs> Is that a word? Kind of e- right? Ease into things. Yeah, right. kind of e- ease into things. So when things do start to get out of control, which or there's they chaos, will. which they will. I mean, guys, if you own a plumbing business, I mean, it's just that's how it is, right? All the things you rattled off, rattled off earlier are real things. Right. So, but it does give you the confidence in yourself that, okay, I've had some time this morning. I've had some time to myself, whatever your, your thing is, you know, if you, if you have, we always recommend having quiet time, some time in the words and prayer, um, and then focus on your body because it is hard to work out after you've worked all day. And even if you're out of the truck, if you're in the truck, that is especially hard to do right. after, and especially in the winter, right? I mean, we used to live in Indiana. Oh boy, you know, to think about after you know you being in the truck all day and then getting home at five, six, seven o'clock at night, and it's freezing, you know, twenty right. <laughs> below, yeah, and then to go work out, <laughs> no, no, it's way. dark, you know, I'm already <laughs> tired. Yeah, right? there's no way. So yeah. do do it in the morning. Create that the, establish in the morning. You don't have to work out for ninety minutes. Just do something for thirty minutes. Just something to kind of get your body going. That um, and it releases those endorphins as well. I mean, everybody, you all know the reasons why to work out. We're we're not going to tell you anything revolutionary. You already know the reasons why, Um, but it's just a matter of setting those practices in place so that you can um, control your morning and keep the promise to yourself. But it's that you know, it's not only just control. You know, the the health benefits of working out and that kind of thing are Mm -hmm. doing it. The whole point point of this really, it's learning to control yourself. Most most of the time, our day is feels and is out of control. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're because reacting, because right. you're reacting right. Because in a lot of times we, we see you're not, these people aren't in control of themselves. Mm-hmm. They're just kind of reacting. They're just, they fall out of bed. They don't, you know, they move forward. And we, I never time in my reaction. life I did, did the same kind of a thing. Sure. Right. Mm-hmm. It's as long goes also, I just fall. I just, okay, now I need to go to the bathroom and now mm-hmm. I got to get clothes on because I got to get to the shop. Got to rip now. I'm running late, 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 late. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. So it's really doing this, by doing these things first thing in the morning, you're controlling yourself. I make the bed every day. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I make the bed. Yes, you do. You know, I once heard, you know, there was a, in fact, it was online here, but I, I, I knew this. I got this even from my Navy days, but I happened to be an admiral who talks about, you know, how you, you want to be successful. Make the bed. It's part of it. It's just controlling. Start off by controlling your day. Once One, one way you can control your day, make your bed. Right. Make your bed. That sounds pick, so pick up, simple. Pick up your laundry. Pick mm-hmm. up the laundry, put it in the basket. Right. Make your bed. Right. Make your bed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Revolutionary. Right. <laughs> And there, there's, there's a power to that. Mm-hmm. You know, every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumb Line. 
Plumline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in a truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, or just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. And again, it just, it, it creates a sense of accomplishment as right. well. If you get up in the morning, you know, kind of do your, your bathroom routine or whatever, um, maybe go work out, come back, whatever, then make your bed. You will feel such a sense of accomplishment. I did something that I said I was going to do. I purposed in my mind that I'm going to be making my bed every day. And then I did it, even if it's, it's little, it's a little thing, but it does give you a sense of right. accomplishment. Right. It doesn't matter. It does, mm-hmm. you know. It does. So, so guys, make your bed. If you don't make your bed right now that's not a habit of yours make it a habit you know it's just do it do it for 30 days within 30 days will become a habit it's good for business mm-hmm. i mean it's these kind of things <laughs> it's good a lot of times you see the you know if, if when the business looks you know this isn't rocket science mm-hmm. you know part of it we're all out here at potty talk and and you know of course million dollar plumber and all that you know it's keeping things simple this mm-hmm. complexity stuff is, is a killer mm-hmm. okay but, but that, that's one aspect of it another aspect of it is is we're just not disciplined a lot of people are struggling in their business not just because they're you know they're all over the place with complexity and you know squirrel squirrel um, but they themselves aren't disciplined, disciplined. okay mm-hmm. now you don't have to be if you've, you've heard me for any length of time I, I'm not one that talks about crushing it mm-hmm. and you got to be hundred and ten percent all mm-hmm. the time that that's not realistic mm-hmm. okay one percent one percent one percent but is that intention being intentional about one percent right but and it's not me have to be totally disciplined like you're all like it, those that know me no i'm not about you know processes and you know i i'm a gray kind of guy i like coloring outside the lines and that kind of thing but there's areas of my life and business demands this there there are business principles that do demand a, a discipline that you yes. must be in disciplined and control of yourself mm-hmm. all right in yep. order to be successful absolutely and the good news is mm-hmm. it's not big stuff it's right. not it's mm-hmm. just being um you know making your bed i mean i know it sounds so silly mm-hmm. but doing those kinds of things where you control your day at the beginning mm-hmm. and are disciplined in yep. that manner controlling yourself mm-hmm. that when you're in the reality of you know the battle mm-hmm. and stuff going on you, you know your spirit is is con- in control. Yes. You know? Oh, yeah. All right. I totally agree. There All right. Go. So the, having a morning routine. Have a morning routine. It's important. All Point right. Number two. Point number two. Mm. Don't participate in the madness. <laughs> and it's okay. all madness. <laughs> Don't participate <laughs> In the madness, okay. What, madness? What, what what does that look like? I don't know. You know, Joe shows up and he's all, he's whining about the work. You know, I had to work long yesterday, or I did this job and all that. <laughs> and so now emotionally, you get and he's kind of swinging at you a little bit or whatever and whining. Verbally. You're right, right, verbally. Ver- right, mm-hmm. verbally, mm-hmm. right, and just whining. And so we tend to get all caught up in that too and want to have a com. First of all, have a conversation about it. <laughs> Okay. Or try nope. to fix it. Nope. Or feel bad too. All of a sudden you're feeling bad, you know. Or I know. you're guilty or whatever. Okay, right. He's making you feel guilty for right. there wasn't enough work yesterday. There was too much work what yesterday. Right. I had to work late yesterday. I didn't give an hour enough hours yesterday. What what no. you guys know. No. You know. You know, I, I I I it may sound callous, you know, look, you ought to be friendly to your people. Mm-hmm. Friendly. You're not their friends. Mm-hmm. No. Nope. So, you know, in my Monday morning meetings I'd ask, so Joe, how you doing? I didn't really care how he's doing. Okay, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's, a that's a little hard. I, I, I care. I think I'm more caring than you. I was going to say, okay? you, you do care. I think you give me that. I do care. <laughs> but it's not to get all wrapped up in all their family issues and all that kind of stuff. Listen and be, well, you know, I'll yeah. be like, thinking and I'm praying for you, which I would do. And that's mm-hmm. still I do do today. Mm-hmm. But not, not at that moment get all caught up in all the emotion and allow right. that emotion to grow. Mm-hmm. Okay? Absolutely. And all those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Or the whining to continue. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. I, you know, I'd have, I can't. It's just hundreds of examples of the guys, you know, this is I, this, Mrs. Jones. She's, she's crazy. And I was on this job. And I don't know what is, you know, whoever did this plumbing before did it this way and that way. I, and I would look, okay. All right, Joe. Well, you got the stock in your truck. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, let's hit it. Yeah. Every you know? day. Get out there. I didn't emotionally participate in right. and let it get me all riled up. Mm-hmm. How many times are we here with our clients who just years are still talking about the one, the plumbers or the yeah. getting caught, caught up in you know, those kinds of things or the customer issues. Yeah. A, a great point is reviews. Don't get caught up in the reviews. I mean, how many, how many times will you see, hear people and you see it online of mm-hmm. this customer gave me a bad review and all that. Oh, my whole world, my whole world shot. And they're all upset and whining and crying and mm-hmm. spitting and you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay. 
and mm-hmm. they've taken all the all this stuff on. Right. Don't participate no. in that. Respond correctly to the reviews. We've got lots right. of potty talks on that, right. um, but not to where you, it becomes this emotional thing. Because more right. than likely, more than likely, you've got a hundred ish great reviews to two or three bad ones so focus on the good ones right mm-hmm. all right so and you know with again i had another thought here with the, with the reviews mm-hmm. it's you know again yeah as you put it there's always you know we always get all caught up in the one mm-hmm. i mean that that's kind of the part of things that get out Human of control that the whole day isn't out of control all mm-hmm. customers aren't giving you bad reviews Correct. you know all your guys aren't upset mm-hmm. all i mean it's just a but we have a tendency to get focus on the negative right and we get caught up into that the vomit and we participate in that mm-hmm. All right, and it just sucks us in. <laughs> All right, just when we thought we were out, it just pulls, <laughs> it pulls us back us in. Back. <laughs> okay, don't refuse to be pulled back into it. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, okay, all right. that is don't participate. Don't participate. Yeah. All right, hey, we'll be right back here. Check this out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right. <laughs> Welcome back here. Yes. All right. Had a little power tool break, yeah. business power tools. Mm-hmm. Hey, we recommend these, you know, we, we do have, we, we call them business, plumbing business power tools. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and these are our companies, organizations um, that, that we recommend. Yes. Okay. So uh, take we, it, take it or leave it. Right. All right. But we vetted that other right. clients of ours have used and has great success with. So right. we take very seriously our relationships and, and the people that we bring to you. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, so make, make these part of your, uh, your plumbing business tool bag. Absolutely. Okay. So we're talking about how uh, to take control of your day. Having a morning routine is very, very vital um, because it sets you up for success. You can control your morning, hopefully get rid of most of the chaos. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. And don't participate in the madness. Nope. Okay. That, that's a, that's a biggie. Mm-hmm. I, 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 we're going to move on here, mm-hmm. but that's what I see working with our clients. That, and that, that was a, a biggie for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I was a little bit of a hothead and emotional. I did care. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I was one. I know I hit really hard on the guys about, you know, I'm going to build a company and we're all going to be buddies and, yeah, you know, absolutely. we're all going to skip across the, well, you know, and <laughs> that didn't cruise, last we're, very right. <laughs> and I, I was that, I was that guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, but it was the hardest thing. That was one of the hard things for me is not to participate. Yes. Because it never in 30 years mm-hmm. um, of the, it's it ne- never overall ran smoothly. Right. Never, guys aren't happy, mm-hmm. you know, the, you know, the customers so get, aren't happy. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Right. Okay. Yes. And okay. It's, it's just how it is. Uh-huh. Okay. Then all of a sudden, when you let go, all of a sudden you do see the, you know, the little cartoon birds and butterflies, you know. <laughs> you know it's because you've gone mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing your mind. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> At times it does feel that way. No. Okay. No. <laughs> all right. Finally mm-hmm. here. Focus on your non-negotiables. Mm-hmm. That's how you stay in control of your day. Focus on your non-negotiables. What do I, what do I mean by that? It's you see things through those filter, mm-hmm. that, that filter. So if you don't have, you should have what we call non-negotiables. Yeah. Um, this is what, where you don't bend, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, for example, my, my non-negotiables were, just very three of them, options. Have you heard me talk about options before? Texting, the technicians need to provide options to right options, Jones. which I gave them the plays. We've, we've had potty talks on that as well. We yes, teach the, on that. We, okay. we give them, you well, give what, them the, the, um, the pricing, the options. It's, it's yes. all systemized or whatever. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Options. Uh, make good job notes and take pictures. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then clean and stock your truck. Mm-hmm. All right. So those were non-negotiables. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I know there's a lot more going on in your plumbing business, right? Well, what, what about the plumbing? I think I expected to be good plumbing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a non-negotiable for me. Right. And if, if a plumber was doing bad plumbing, you're going to find out pretty quick, right? Because right. Mrs. Jones is going to be upset. She's going to call in. So if you've got um, a, a tech who has a track record of customers calling in about not great plumbing, then you've got, a, you've got an issue. The plumber's either not a great plumber, he needs more training, or he needs to be let go. But right. Yes. Right. So I, as I, as the things were happening and coming through, I was going through the filter. Is this an option thing? Is this a make good jobs note thing? Or is this a, uh, you know, clean and stock your truck thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which all those were centered around taking care of Mrs. Jones. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. I mean, it really was all about, you know, 
how, how do we serve Mrs. Jones? How do we look for right. Mrs. Jones? Mm-hmm. Those, those kinds of things. Right. So if, if a plumbing job did go bad, was going south, mm-hmm. emotionally, I wasn't pulled into, you know, well, this is, right, I can't get this, you know, it, I can't find this, this four-inch uh, no-hub fitting or what, you know, all <laughs> this kind of I, I, didn't, I didn't get pulled into that emotion. That right. was just that was just the work. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. it wasn't something that, that, that I needed to get emotional about. Right. But I did get emotional. Mm-hmm. Okay, and get pulled into the madness. <laughs> if I found out, you know, we went out to a job and it was just a service call fee and we didn't provide options. Right. I was in. Right. Because right. I mean, that, there's so many bad things with that. Right. There, that you didn't provide for one. You didn't provide the customer with choice. Right. right? And that, that, there's no reason for that. There's just simply no reason to only give the customer one choice, right? Right. It's just hack plumbing. And so we, we've, again, we've, there's we, other potty talk. Lots of potty talks on, on that. On that mm-hmm. And of course, that's, that's what we, we teach on those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. But the, the bottom line with that was those non negotiables were the filter that I looked through my day at. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So even if I got the bad review, mm-hmm. the first thing I wanted, did we give them options? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going through my filter. Mm-hmm. Is there something where, we, like, I know we dropped the ball, okay? Mm-hmm. But if it was just a bad, you know, your price, you're, you're ripping people off, or, right. you know, a guy came out and he did what he said he would do and all, and I just didn't like it. Right. And whatever. <laughs> and then he gave me a one star, you know, mm-hmm. okay. Then he kicked my dog. Right, <laughs> right. Okay. I, I didn't, you know, I just didn't get pulled into that madness. Mm-hmm. So I ran it through my non negotiables right. filter. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you don't have non negotiables, come up with. Right. You know, th- three to five non-negotiables. Right, things that, that you really want to make sure that your technicians and your staff know is important to the culture of your company. Right. And whatever, there's no right or wrong answer to that. Um, you you just know what those things are and right. make sure that everybody else does too. Because you can't expect your technicians to read your mind, for one. So if you want them to make sure they do take pictures and have good job notes and all the things and, you know, whatever platform that you're using, Service Titan, House Call Pro, whatever it might be, um, if you want them to do that, then you're going to have to train them to do that. And you, it's not just telling them once. It's not just telling them once. It's going to be multiple times, and it's going to be holding them accountable for the times that they didn't do it. Right. You can't let it slide when they don't do it because then they don't think you're serious. If you got kids, you know exactly what I mean. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And it's a great point because even with the non-negotiables, it's being on top of it. We control the way I can control my day is I know these things I, I got to control. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so um, it's not, not controlling if you allow, well, I'll talk to him in the next meeting. Right. And that kind of, that's, that's, so you're feeling out of control. Mm-hmm. I felt in control when I called, when I found out, you know, Joe did the service call and didn't offer options. Mm-hmm. I'm calling Joe. Hey, Joe, why? Mm-hmm. What happened? Right. You know, mm-hmm. th- that kind of a thing. Right. I'm not, I'm in control. If it happens again, he's home for the day. Exactly. Because he's either having some kind of issue or, or something. He needs more training, something to, to, that needs to be addressed. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. So that is how you take control right. of your day. It's, it's very, you know, business owner. All right. Days, days are crazy. It's just life. Okay. Mm-hmm. But there are things you can do to control your day. And you know that again, right. it's, it's discipline. It's discipline really in all these areas that we talked about. It's creating that discipline. Um, and once you have that discipline, discipline spills over to other disciplines, yes. right? Because you've got that confidence and, and you're doing the things that you, that you say you're, that you're going to do. Um, so just start again, start with something small, make your bed. I mean, <laughs> maybe that's what we should title this one. I entitled this episode, Make Your Bed. Make Your Bed. It's good for your plumbing business. It's good for your plumbing business. (laughs) (laughs) Which is, I know it sounds so silly, but it is so true. Mm -hmm. Look, this isn't rocket science. (laughs) This is, I mean, this is why I get a little bit out of shape. It's not a personal thing, you know, with these these other, these other, you know, business models, Mm -hmm. you know, gurus out there talking about, you got to know this, all these kind of numbers and do all this other kind of crap. And you got to have salesmen and this is how you sell and all that. Mm -hmm. That, that's all, it's all mm-hmm. BS, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it really is the, the simple. Yes. Um, the, the thing about it is it's, it's two plus two equals four. Well, it has to be more difficult than that. <laughs> two plus two. I mean, I mean, that, that sounds too, that sounds too easy. <laughs> it is this easy. Right. Like okay? the easy button. All right. But you, but you got to do these things. Right. That's what's not easy. Yes. Okay. Simple, but not easy. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. There we have it. Fun episode, right. okay. like always. Yeah, so everybody, thanks so much for joining us on Potty Talk. Really appreciate you being here. Again, leave us a review. Um, but, um, hey, hey, hey if, yeah. you, if you like to, you know, if you're starting out with your plumbing business, okay, um, you're a newbie, or maybe you're a veteran, been around the block a few times, and, you, and you're just, struggling. You're just kind of in the same spot, and you're mm-hmm. trying to get to that next level. Hey, give us a call. Let's have a conversation, mm-hmm. okay? And, and it's, it's free. There's no, nothing to push, nothing, anything going on. We're just going to get you pointed in the right direction. We want to help, Okay. 
Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call mm -hmm. to schedule your call with one of my strategic advisors. Yes, please do. Okay. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Mm -hmm. And these, uh, these advisors are, they've had plumbing businesses and mm -hmm. has, still have plumbing Successful. businesses and mm -hmm. started with just where you're at. Um, and have gone gone beyond. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so they know what they're talking about here. Absolutely. So they'll be able to help you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we'd love to help you. All right. So there we go. Hey, before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.